Ah, how's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Daddy right back into it. More Red Dead Redemption. And, uh, well, it looks like I'm not going to get much of a choice here, depending on where that is. Yeah, looks like we're uh, doing something for Abigail. What's up, Abby? What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> not yet. What? To be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. Fair. Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government, motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there. All right, all right. Go on. Scat. Shh. Well, that cute little romantic moment just blown away by crows cawing. Well, it's like, damn it, go kill them crows. Okay. What am I doing? I have a shotgun. Where's my repeater? Oh, I can't aim high enough. Son of a... Damn it. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right in all honesty. I'm just shooting crows for the sake of shooting crows. Nelly. Okay, apparently shoot the crows was the objective. Fine. Now about that stew. You just had to shoot a shite ton of them. Let's go ahead and pluck some of these other great buggers. I did just shoot a lot of crow. Can't be shameful and make it all go to waste. Though the only thing I'm really gonna do with them is sell the feathers. Also, I'm saying... Okay, maybe I'm just not close enough for that X to spawn. I am about to say, I did shoot a crap ton of crows! But I'm not seeing that many X's. That's offensive. Ah, there we go. Yeah, they're popping in. Okay, that's not even worth collecting. Let's like screw it. Honey, I took care of the problem. Mostly, kind of, sort of, not really. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie <laughs> McFarland. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. It weren't nothing like that. Damn, Abby, damn. What's it say? I don't know. I can't... Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. <laughs> you read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. <laughs> Dear Mr. Marston, stop. 
Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Oh, uh, you know. A little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. No, honestly, I take Bonnie in a heartbeat. Anyway, John, wait. Yes, honey. Can I help you? Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. What are you waiting for? We better hurry. Oh come on! Why am I on a timer? That's some bull. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you wanted to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while you were off supporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Step, jack has seen enough for a lifetime. Aren't we headed for Hennigan's death? I'm... Damn it, what? <laughs> so, did she marry this phony McFarland? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. <laughs> normal as in two eyes, Woo. mouth, nose, that kind of normal. Besides, ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. If you find yourself in a hole, the first thing to do is stop digging. Another uh -huh. pearl of wisdom from John Marston. I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so you much are. as curious. You she heard is. what she wrote. Get some corn. She saved my life and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. <laughs> also, I didn't know you could jump wagons right to redemption. Anyway. She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Oh, and stripped me half naked. Me half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to be visiting on it now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Uh, Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only finding if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. Better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe, but they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. They hated you for it. Yeah, kind of comes off that way, actually. Who? Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very fun. So, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. They lose that finger. You came. Thank What's up, Bonnie? You so much. We lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable old goat some manners, among other things. What the? I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse. And I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail? In my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weak saddle sore, ain't it, Mr. Farland? You're gonna start yammering 
talking about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. Wow. Fun fact, I've been engaged twice, and I had some massive flashbacks just now. Wow. Aww, look at Bonnie. Just, like, god damn it, that's a fine man, and I don't get him. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll do. <laughs> I want that one. Oh, come on. That totally sells that notion, doesn't it? Well, you gonna yak my ear off some more, Abby? So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal. Like I said. Oh, she's pretty. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's wife. I'm only teasing. I like her, and I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You clearly had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marshall. Got there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? The last crowd for Galen? We're back together, ain't we? Where are you going? Is this uh, the way home? It's a long you route. Decide, you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was the stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are. Than they were. Maybe we can't change. But we gotta try, for Jack's sake. Even if we have to start again a hundred times, it's better than going back toward the work. <sighs> How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. It's gonna take time. For a while, his world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Phil and Uncle Gus? They were family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's Where he got kidnapped, no less. We did our best to protect him. Uh, yeah, Jack's had a rough life. <laughs> right, at the, right out the gate. Right out the gate, he had a rough life. We did good today, John. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Yay, rat stew. Ugh. It's weird. This isn't quite as fun as uh, the Red Dead Redemption 2 epilogue stuff where you're just doing ranch hand stuff. But I think that's more so you're also trying to escape your old life a little bit more... I can't think of the word I'm looking for here, and that makes me sad. But basically, you're just... You're right out of the gate, you know? You're just trying to just leave your old life behind and all that as John, and... It's going about as well as you expect. And here, it's like, no, he has left that life behind, and now people don't remember him you as the outlaw. I, I am a... Get up! It's a very uh, horizontal up, man. There, I'm up. Yeah, now you're vertical. Thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. 
You always was a hard, nasty man, John Marston. You always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. So this is probably a dumb question, but not the same voice actor as Red Dead Redemption 2, is it? Because honestly, if it is, the man's greatly improved. But it's not. Pretty certain it's not. Ah, uh, at least he's not complaining about lumbago every five minutes. But Lord knows my comment section will never let me forget. All right, you stay front. Come on, cows. Stay together, you dumb animals. Here I am doing this again. Come on, cows. Move. Let's go. <laughs> Let's keep it moving now. Wow, that one actually used the door. That's impressive. Move on. Move on. Move. Move. Go. Yeah. No stopping. Let's go. You're almost done with the game, Graham. You're almost done. Head forward. Got one final act of vengeance really to do, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. I mean, I let you all pick the game I went to last time, and we ended up with this, and it's a lot shorter than I certainly remember it being. But I think I'm gonna pick the next one. I'm thinking, eh, I don't know. Come on. Ghost Recon did get a lot of votes though. Come on. Get a move on. Hmm. I don't know. We could do that. After all, the next thing we move on to is going to be Breakpoint, but that's still a ways off. Come on, cow! Friggin' thing. Come on. And you know, going to Wildlands and doing some outfits on that when I'm pretty sure everyone that has been doing them is no longer doing them, sadly. And the ones I have seen do them have done excellent work. Like, hard to compete with kind of work. Like, uh... Well, frankly, kind of when I did find anything on the Red Dead Redemption outfit videos. Which, according to some of you, I'm the only one doing anymore. What the hell? Yeah, who knows? We'll see. Yeah, I will put it to a vote. I don't know yet. Come on, come on, come on. Still got a couple more sessions God of. Damn it! Stop the herd! Ah, shh. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go, let's go. Move, come on. Take your damn minute. Stay with the herd! I'm gonna help these people! Ah! Uh. So much for cover! You best shoot me now or this is over! Let's go! Okay, I think we're safe. Thank you. I thought we were done for. Just helping out. Now you take care. This randomly hurting cattle. Random train is getting randomly robbed, and random cowboy hurting cattle saves it. Yeah. And all my cow are just everywhere. They're freaking everywhere. Uncle. Old habits die hard. I see. Oh shut up! At least I don't rob it. Man. Yeah. Come on, let's get this herd moving again. Keep it moving. Come on, cows. Come on. Let's see Move how many out. did I lose doing that. Stay together, you dumb animals. I only lost two. That's not too bad. Damn it, cows! Go this Move. way. Let's go. Move on. Move on. Let's go. Freaking a. Let's go. Move. Move. No stopping! Let's go! I'm going out the runner! Oh, now you're making yourself useful. I wonder where the cow did die at now that I think about it. Oh well. Ah. Uh, Come on! 
So, a lot better than when that lightning was striking, and I lost like five, six. I don't remember. I gotta go back and watch that video again. I lost a lot of cattle on that one. As they all leapt off the cliff face like lemmings. No. You look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. Yeah. Uncle, you son of a... I mean, I could just leave him here, so it doesn't really matter, so... Alright, where are we at on time? I believe... God damn, these are quick. Okay. Well, let's head back and see what else Uncle wants to do, apparently. You cows have fun. You're now free-range cows. What the hell was that? Buffalo! I could hunt a buffalo to extinction. <laughs> nah. That achievement legit made me feel bad. That said, bison are insanely dangerous animals. I laugh every time I see some weird news clip about how someone tried to take a selfie with one. Like out in the open, out of their car, take a selfie with a bison. Nah, that's dumb. Why would people do that? That's like trying to take a freaking picture with... Oh, really, any dangerous wild animal that you really should not be in close proximity with. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a bad idea. It's dumb. It's stupid. You should not be doing that. Uncle! Oh, sounds like frickin' Jack is shooting again. What the hell's he doing? What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Okay. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on! That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. I mean the only hemorrhoid I really got right now, Uncle, is you. Are you gonna mount up, kid? I swear to God, Uncle. What are my Winchester out? Also, when did I get to Springfield? I don't know. I'm asking way too many questions. Screw it. Guns are fun. All right, let's get after them. Let's lead the way, old man. A company uncle. Do I have to? Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah. You're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. God, just Chill pitching now. crap, my god. Ooh, horses. Which one do I want? There they are. I want I want that one. Come here. Oh crap. Right, this is a thing. I forgot this was a thing. Easy horse. Easy. 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 I'm gonna name you Marion. After Bill. Whose first name was actually Marion. <laughs> but please stop trying to buck me off. No kidding, Uncle. Yeah, uh, there we go. Untork that rock, boy. Whoa there. You'll never catch him on foot. Shut up. Why don't you do this? Alright, let's see what my other selections are. Holy crap, they're way the hell out there. Jeez. Let's go. Oh, it's 
see, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, you. Yes. Gotcha. Come here, baby. You're all mine. Yeah, I'm... Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Hi, Uncle. You care to help? No? Okay, screw you. You don't say. What gave it away? Yeah, you do. Come on. Come on. Calm down, horse. Calm down. Holy crap. What the hell did I catch? There we go. I kind of want to keep this one, actually. This is cool. Thank you, John. I freaking another one? What the hell? How many of these things am I catching? Am I catching the whole bloody herd? Alright, where are they at? Oh, they are way out there. Alright. See another brown beauty. I kinda want a painted one now though. Ooh, ooh, wait, you, 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 hold up, hold up. Ooh. You. Oh, god damn it. Where'd you go? No, 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 don't run away, don't run away, you son of a Uncle! You're worthless, man! Oh man, he is hauling ass! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you is. Yep, yeah, that's you. That's you. Nope, not you. Nope, not you. God damn it. Nah. Come on. Gotcha. Come here, horse. You are mine. I mean, honestly, I don't think there's actually any difference between these horses by, like, the way these ones look. Oh my god, Uncle, shut up. I'm gonna show you who's boss in a minute when I get off this thing. Go on, Cole. Shut up, please. Yeah, die. Come on. I really wish there was a meter or something to show progress, because doing this just like this is actually kind of worrisome. And you lose track of time really quick and easy. Holy crap, calm down. There we go. There, take the freaking horse, Uncle. Hey, don't be running off. I think that's enough for now. Yeah, I'm going home. Screw you. Dang. Still shocks me knowing that uh, horses, wild horses, were not native to the Americas. Nah, I was brought over by the Spanish. Or at least that's why I remember my history class teaching me. I can't remember if it's right or not anymore because I never bothered to check that info. Whoa. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. God, you offend me, old man. Not a bad day's work. For me. Well, at least I made a hundred dollars, and that finally ate up the rest of my time. New, well, yeah, of course, because I just broke three new horses. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. So, as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, really showing that support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and by all means, sharing it with your friends. Whew. I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> Once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, kids. Take care now. Bye-bye then.